write that or doing wherever you can write that even gk you can write that every arrow of poverty in my hand manifest and jump out in jesus name i want to see that prayer point then i will show you how what you are going to do you want to take like 30 seconds to pray that prayer and you will see what is going to happen to you right now yes yes i want to see that prayer every arrow of poverty in my hand manifest and jump out in the name of jesus yes you got it teresha teresha thank you thank you for writing that so let us pray that prayer point every arrow yes thank you so much pray like this every arrow of poverty in my hand manifest jump out in the name of jesus every arrow every arrow of poverty in my hand manifest jump out in the name of jesus you pray like this you pray like this you see my hands put your phone on the speaker or down just pray like this the way i'm doing you i want those demons to be shaken and jump out in the name of jesus you pray like this every arrow of poverty in my hand manifest jump out in the name of jesus jump out jump out jump out jump out jump out jump out in the name of jesus every evil poverty in my hands manifest and jump out jump out jump out just shake your hands that demons they will manifest and jump out of your feet jump out of your hand jump 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 out in the name of jesus that is how that is spiritual warfare because your hand has been changed your hand has been dim yes every arrow of poverty in my hand manifest and jump out in the name of jesus keep on praying that prayer point pray for 30 seconds in the name of jesus jump out jump out jump out in the name of jesus thank you for much she had not prayed for 10 10 minutes when her hands started vibrating and controlling that was the sources of a problem so when you go home write that prayer point down and try even one hour pray you you will not be the same again your hands will be blessed you know your hands is your is is, is, is the symbol of your labor therefore if your hand has been damaged nothing will work for you wherever you touch something it can't work for you so your hands will be delivered in jesus name that if burden has been put in your hands it has been removed in jesus name jesus has taken it away and your hand will be blessed in jesus name many people are going about with the rod the rod of of evil many many people are going about with the rod of the enemy in their lives sometimes it is one part of the body sometimes it is all over all over those things will not hinder people from reading the Bible. They will not stop people from getting to heaven. They, they are there to stop people from doing what God wants them to do. Just as poor as Haras fed on the canvas that fell from the rich man's temple. He had sore all over his body, but he still got to heaven. The, the truth is that the, tra the, the transporters of evil can be asked to call their evil rod and go back with it. If an arrow of the enemy is fired at a person, three things can happen. It is enter, it can enter into the person's body. That is what usually happen. I want you to look at this. Listen, listen very careful. When an evil, when, when evil, an evil, hallelujah. If an enemy, if an arrow of enemy fired at a person, three things happen to the person. When an evil arrow fired to the person, there is three things happen to the person. One, it can enter onto the person's body. That is what usually happen. It can, it could bounce off the body and west. It could miss it, target and go to somewhere else. The position of God for his children is well. Is well. God says, when an evil thinks is dispatched towards his children, he can repress them with another person or send them back to the sender. So that owners of evil rod carry their rod. They, there, she was asked to pay the honor evil rod call their evil rod and that every evil arrow should go back to the sender 
she was one, wondering how she could do it. And the young man that was ministering to her said she had to first surrender her love to Jesus Christ. So the, 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 the word of God is just simple. Surrender to God. That's what Jesus said. Come to me. Come. Surrender everything. Repent. Ask God to forgive you and surrender. When you understood, when she understood she surrendered her life to the Lord Jesus Christ and she started praying, the young man then prayed a series for her and asked her to arise and walk. She laughed and she told him that it is, was that easy. She had been walking before then. The young man told her again and she tried. She found out that she walked and she went home happily. This is the woman who was carrying evil rod. And this young man was ministering to her. And the young man realized that this woman has not given her life to Jesus. So she asked her to give life to Jesus and the young man prayed for her. That the woman, after they prayed, that this, this, young, this woman was relieved and went home happy. You may be unhappy. Some people are unhappy. They've never been happy because of the, the heavy rod they are carrying. They are, they are laboring under demonic, demonic, demonic bondage. Some people they would never love. I was my my one of my friends. I started with, I started praying with her not long ago, about two or two months or three months, two months. She gave me a testimony about a son who was never been loved. He never loved. He never smiled because of what they were been going through. But after the prayer, this boy, the, the son is now in Europe doing practice international. He will be a, a star, I think. He's now loving. He can smile because God has made him to smile. He's happy. Some people, they never smile. They are never happy because what is going on through. They will never love. They will never be happy because what is going on to their life. So the Lord will be moved. The Lord will be destroyed. The Lord will, will be taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus has, has, has given us authority, has promised us that his Lord, his burden is easy. So today, this morning, this time, or your time is night, the Lord is going to take away your burden. You will call the, the, the burden of Jesus, which is easy. I command every heart of darkness. I command them to hear the word of the Lord. I command them to go back to the sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil rod, if you find out that you are being pressed down on your bed or hear voices that are not from the Lord and that other people cannot hear, there is a problem. Some people, they told me this all the time. They hear voices. There is some satanic voices and there is a voice of God. Evil rod, evil burden, if you find out that you are being pressed down on your bed or hear voices that are not from the Lord and that other people cannot hear, there, then there is a problem. Suddenly depression, neediness, fear. There was a woman and this woman, she had a car. Each time she wants to drive, she wants to do to, to driving school, she, she took a car to the road, she would be scared. However, every time she was scared, every time she was scared, eventually she had a, she had a driver. One Sunday morning she was well dressed and uh, sit at the back at the car, uh, the back of her car. And the driver was driving. She saw that the man was chewing stick. You know, this woman is dressed very well. And the and a and a striver was chewing a stick. You know, in Africa, people they use the stick as a toothpaste, tooth, toothpaste. In, in here in Canada, or you have never seen this, or America, wherever. But in back home, Africa people, I don't know if you understand this. <laughs> people they don't have toothpaste, they don't have toothbrush, they use the stick to, to clean their teeth. <laughs> African people say amen so that I can, I know that you understand this. Or if you know, Africa, uh, or people who use the stick to clean their teeth, they don't have toothpaste, they don't have toothbrush. They use the stick to clean the, the toothbrush. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> 
Now this woman, she saw the man cleaning his teeth while he's driving. And then she got mad and told the man, stop doing that. That is disgrace and shame. I'm very rich and, and I'm, I'm, you are driving me and you, and you are chewing, you are cleaning your teeth with a stick. And then the man told madam, this is your key, this is your car, bye bye. The woman didn't know how to, to drive. <laughs> and it was in the middle of the forest, no car, nothing. So the woman t said, what can I do? The woman said, the man started going back. And then the, the, another car was coming, that man jumped in and went and left that woman there alone. So the woman was showering, what can I do? And then the, uh, eventually, this woman, she feared because she, she can't drive. That shook, shook off the fear in her and she made up her mind to run out to drive. That, that made that woman tell, tell herself that I must run out to drive. Whether it, 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 what, what it, what it is this, I have to run out to drive. An evil wind can blow on a person and it could turn into paradise. It is an evil road. You see, evil, evil wind, an evil wind could blow on a person and it could turn into paradise. You know, sometimes the wind can come to you, you think it's normal wind. You know, Jesus commanded the wind and the, command, the wind obeyed. So, there's some demonic wind and there's normal wind. And remember, everything was created by God, but you, a human being, has been given power and authority. You've been given dominion, everything. The wind has no dominion, has no power. You have the power yourself. Now, when you see the wind flowing abnormal, even this uh, aggressive wind, command them to stop. Many times, honestly speaking, when I see a wind flowing very aggressive and making that noise, I command them, I told you not with me, divert and go away. I am a creator, I am a human, I am created by God, I am the image of God, I have the authority against you. Bave the way, and the wind just go on, live and, and cease. I have commanded the snow, I command you the snow, bave the way. You cannot distract me, you cannot enter in me, and that is what happened. If you watch our prayer, our prayer every, every Friday, we have never missed the prayer because of the weather, or the storm, or the snow. We don't, we don't believe that. We have authority over the weather, over the snow, everything, because God has given us power and dominion over them. So now, when an evil wind blow on a person and it could turn into paradise, it is an evil rod. If a person feel cold, cold, chill, cold chills, chill from within, whistles in a room, when the temperature is hot, it is an evil road. Sometimes people feel cold. They started shivering. They started shivering and find unexplainable shivering. You feel you can even wear winter jacket while it is it is very hot because you feel very cold. That is an evil arrow has been fired to you. You don't have to joke like that. Unexplainable an an, an shivering. Find strange things in, in food. Things like human hair. Insects. What to do is not just removing the thing, but to de desist from eating that food. You know, sometimes you might see strange things in your food. When you are eating, you see hair. You see strange things in your food. Throw it. Don't eat it. That is an arrow. You have no idea. That is how they do they are, they are spiritual, they come and put something, when you eat, that is, that is when the problem will start. If you find out that a part of your hair has been shaven without your knowledge, when and where, it is an evil rod. Sometimes you dream that people are shaving your hair, all plating your hair. That is not fun. They are taking your glory and they are damaging your head. Therefore, that is an evil rod that is placed on you. If you see a statue sit on you, harm, or a snake, either in the dream or physical, it is an evil rod. Sometimes you see snake and in dreams or physical, or sometimes you see dog fighting you or pecking against you, or sometimes you see a snake fighting you. That is an